O Green Bay, a small community of about 100,000 people known for its dairy farmers, cold winters, blue collar roots, shallow coastline miles away from the heartland of America's wheat farms, and most famously, one of the NFL's most popular teams, the Green Bay Packers. But wait, smaller than Akron, Ohio, Peoria, Illinois, and even Fargo, North Dakota, why is a franchise in America's most popular and well-established professional sports league play in this rural metropolitan center that only takes in about 1,400 flights per month? First, we need to examine why the Packers are called the Green Bay Packers. One of Green Bay's earliest and most successful industries was the meatpacking industry. Meatpacking is when a company cans meat to make it non-perishable. But why would any meatpacking industry establish itself in Green Bay, a city 1,000 plus miles away from major population centers where almost 60% of the entire country lived in the early 1900s, such as New York, Philadelphia, Washington DC, Buffalo, and Boston? The answer, in short, is the Great Lakes. As the beef cattle were being wrangled by the cowboys of Texas to the slaughterhouses of Chicago, the meat didn't have long before it was to spoil. Luckily for the industry of some meat producers in Chicago who didn't want their meat to go bad, there was a company a short 8-hour Lake Michigan boat ride away or 6-hour train ride away in Green Bay called the Indian Packing Company. From Green Bay, the meat packers could now ship and sell their meat to markets in these population hubs, such as New York City, through sending their shipment through the Great Lakes transportation system, where the goods would arrive in Buffalo to be sent down the Erie Canal and into New York City, where the packed meat could be shipped again to a much wider array of routes and would supply millions of Americans over the decades of the early United States. So to conclude, this is why there is a meat packing industry in Green Bay and answers the question of why the Packers are called the Packers, but it still does not answer the question of why the Packers play in Green Bay of all places. Football, a game that came to fruition in the mid 1800s, was finally cementing itself as a professional sport across the nation with the likes of baseball. Almost every bona fide city in the nation was establishing its own professional team to entertain the community. The Green Bay Packers were founded on August 11, 1919 by former high school football rivals Earl Curly Lambeau and George Whitney Calhoun. Lambeau solicited funds for uniforms from his employer, the Indian Packing Company, a sister company of Acme Packing, giving the Green Bay Packers the official name as the Acme Packers. Teams needed to be sponsored back then to survive as a club, similarly to today as how NASCAR drivers wear ridiculous amounts of ads on their cars and jackets, or how your local Little League team may be called the Royal Auto Group Padres. Lambeau was given $500 for uniforms and equipment on the condition that the team be named for its sponsor, and the rest was history. The Green Bay Packers have played in their original city longer than any other team in the NFL. On August 27, 1921, the Packers were granted a franchise in the new National Pro Football League that had been formed and would become the modern day NFL. Due to the Packers' early success on the field, winning the 1929, 1930, 1931, 1936, 1939, 1944 NFL championships, passion and popularity for the Green Bay football team never declined or wavered for the community as well as the country and began to be passed down from generation to generation. As the years went by and more legendary players like Willie Davis, Bart Starr, Brett Favre, and now Aaron Rodgers passed through the confines of Lambeau Field, donning the Packers green and yellow, Support for the team grew along with the popularity of the league, cementing itself as not only one of the league's pillars, but as a fan favorite across America. According to my data, the Green Bay Packers have more social media likes and follows than the New York Giants, Philadelphia Eagles, and Chicago Bears. Not bad for a city with 1 30th of the population as those Goliaths.